Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video from Adidas factory store. I was going to say employee store, but definitely can't film inside of there. Uh, anyway, this is a factory store, and I just wanted to show you guys what they had in stock. Kind of was checking out the products. We're just going to see if they had any um, Ultra Boost. Those things, I need to try those ones out. I've never actually tried those shoes yet. There's like a, I think that's a different type of Pure Boost that was released. That looks pretty fun. These ones right here, and I haven't tried them, but they look pretty cool in my opinion. One I want to check out. Those are the Pure Boost uh, X's, which is a women's exclusive. And they had just a couple different models here and that I haven't really seen um, from what we see in store versus what I, we see promoted heavy online. So um, just kind of like browsing around. This one has kind of a hybrid of bounce and boost, it looks like. And the price points are about uh, 130 on those ones. And these ones are 99 bucks, and sequence boost. Uh, those things are actually pretty nice. Uh, I ended up getting a pair of those from Jackrabbit I unboxed a long time ago. But, um, but anyway, yeah, these ones are interesting. Check out the three-stripe, like, sock thing with those ones right there. But, uh, but yeah, so they had some decent stuff. Nothing super great, to be honest. Uh, I just wanted to kind of browse and see. The price points are kind of, like, like this shoe is pretty dope, but 120 and it's not included in the promotion. You could probably get them from Foot Locker for cheaper because they, like, I always tweet out codes and stuff uh, for 20% off, and you can get them for 20% off. So retail price is 120 These are the Rocket Boost, that's right. Um, so I had the old rockets, but not those ones, but retail is 120 on them. So it's crazy to me why they're still like 120 at the, the outlets. It doesn't make much sense. These ones look pretty cool actually for like more like outdoorsy sort of stuff, uh, like for camping or hiking or something like that. I was like, man, these are kind of cool. And those ones are discounted. And this is like a, a pretty cool colorway as well. This is one that I would probably buy just for fun. If the price point was like 50 bucks, just like super sale, nobody really wanted them. And then all of a sudden like, I'd swoop in for this deal on those ones. But, um, these did not, the technology did not take off on the spring blades. I think it was a nice attempt from Adidas, but hopefully, I, I have a feeling they're just going to phase out that line because it started off so expensive and I don't think they made their money back on those ones. Bounce technology, on the other hand, is doing mediocre. It is like the lower end stuff, but it is pretty good, especially with the Alpha Bounce obviously out there now, um, which I really like those sneakers. And if you hear the rustling in the background, my dogs are, you know, doing their things. Uh, Chloe and Lolo over there, but um, but yeah, these ones uh, I don't even know what those ones were either. I can't I can't remember uh, something threes response boost threes or something like that. But uh, but no ultra boost. Check out the reflector joints in the background though. Like shout out to the to the 80s um, like BMX bike reflector style in the back right here. Look at these things. I was like, what are these? It really looks like something off off my bike, but uh, or like my old like BMX bike. I, I used to BMX. I used to love that stuff back in the day, dude. I wish I, I was still like in my youth and it's crazy because nowadays they have like skate parks and everything I don't know I wish uh, I wish we had skate parks like when I was a kid we made our own ramps and they did they were horrible anyway they have superstars and they're 80 bucks and retail price on the superstars I heard a rumor that they're gonna be getting Stan Smith's as well but check this out this is the knockoff ultra boost this is kind of interesting it's galaxy uh, 3m um, very interesting shoe I haven't seen that one before but it, it looked exactly like the ultra boost in a sense uh, obviously didn't know um, boost on the shoe so kind of an interesting one kind of cool colors on this one right here cloud foam so they have the um, bounce cloud foam boost they have a bunch of different technologies which is kind of interesting so they had some lillards and some roses uh, those are 80 bucks at the D rose sevens if you guys haven't seen I'll have a video on those or I've, I've probably would already posted by now but man I love the way that the new D roses look but all the previous models they always ended up at outlets and Ross and like Marshalls and stuff, but man, the, the new ones, for some reason, they, they might do the same thing, but the Prime Knit versions are super clean, at least in my opinion. Um, some more um, basketball shoes, light them up, so I haven't seen those ones before. So they have some top tier and then some lower tier items in here. This one kind of looks similar to a um, con consortium or whatever. The, I can't even say that uh, word. I'm such a retard. But, uh, but I, I did a thrifting video and I saw some uh, collabs um, with, uh, with those colors, but... These superstars are ones that just don't seem to be selling out. These ones look pretty cool though. I mean, 70 bucks though, and they're cheaper online even. I'll put a link to the Adidas um, sales going on right now in the uh, yeah in the description if you guys want to check those ones out. Some some of the prices online are better than what you can find in store, which is kind of crazy. And at first glance, I was like, those are kind of cool. And then I looked at them closer, I was like, ah, maybe not. These ones are are also this like kind of reflective look to them. They they just didn't really pick up. So maybe the color was a little bit too aggressive. I don't know, but those are sixty bucks, less than just the standard um, ones. But uh, these look like kind of like Adidas Chucks almost. In a sense, I haven't seen that model before. 
And then they had the ZX Flux. Ah, the ZX Flux. Where did you where did you go wrong? Uh, there was so much hype around the ZX Flux for a while, and then they had the remember the app for the ZX Flux where you could put any print you want and then buy though like a pair of sneakers with any print on them. Then the the Xenos were really dope, and then the Prisms were really dope, and these are kind of like the knockoff or, or the lower versions of of both of those sneakers that I was talking about. But a lot of these just ended up in outlets now and under retail, which is not a bad thing if you like the model. It's it's nice to be able to cop for a decent price, and online you can get them for even cheaper. Um, so it's pretty crazy. And then even the tubulars, this was a model that was really hyped up for a while and then completely fell uh, flat and a couple different revisions. And then all of a sudden the steam goes, um, away from them, but, uh, still some cool innovations and some cool technology and stuff. I still have these ones right there. And, uh, I have a couple different colorways of the tubulars, but ultimately I didn't really like the tubular aspect of the shoe. I like the upper, but the soles were horrible. That's why I did the tubular boost. Um, soul swap in one of my videos a long time ago if you guys didn't see that one uh, but anyway these the wife has this I think this exact pair actually the energy um, boot uh, yeah the energy boost twos I need to try out the energy boost threes they look pretty dope and I wish they would make the pure boost X for men and women there was an ultra boost that um, kind of not leaked but uh, is, is shown out there that actually has the same like fusion of the pure boost X for women but it's the ultra boost version it looks fairly similar I wonder if it's gonna be for men or women uh, but I kind of like the, the overall look of these things. I'm, um, I've heard they're really, really comfortable, so it'd be kind of fun. These are ones, though, that I think I need to give a tr uh, try. Of course, I want to uncage these things because that's just the way I feel about them. But those are the Energy Boost, which the Energy Boost 1 is the one that kind of jumped it off with the boost, as far as I remember. The Ultra Boost came on later and just never stopped. It's, the Ultra Boost is just ridiculous. But anyway, that's all we have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we will catch you guys for some more uh, videos soon. So check back. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.